topic will be images so images is more than just a decorative piece it its main purpose is to draw attention of the viewer like a hook right so how many times or you must have seen a book with a really interesting book cover right so what why do we get drawn towards the thing it's mainly because of the way images have been used to attract attention right so come uh, so we get attention to this movie poster of bhag mil ka bhag so so for those of you who have seen this movie you know it's based on a it's Then, uh, it's based on a true story about this person who is an athlete, Milka, and it's about his entire story about his past and how he overcome uh, challenges as a child, right? But before this movie was released or he even went to the theater to watch it, you must have seen on billboards or you must have. Seen Anyway, you get drawn towards that poster mainly because of this how the poster has been created, right? So, if using images for anything, it is a really powerful tool, right? So, images make it more engaging for the audience. So, but with a little creativity and to think out of the box. It's really important to remember a few things. First, obviously, the most obvious one would be finding a high-quality image for each topic or project that you're working on. So, if you're really good with a camera, you can take good photos of it, or you can use your graphic designing tools to make certain types of icons or icons or buttons, right? But in case if you're not good at any of There are uh, there are different types of websites which actually provide images that can be used. And believe it or not, most professionals actually rely on low-cost images called stock images. And these are stock images, right? So these stock images are perfect in case if you want to, if you want something in specific for your project. It's also important that the that the photos are open ended and they're not too literal, uh, depending on the topic, right? So, for example, if I look at this first photo right here of this girl with a cupcake in her hand, some people might think that you know this photo can be used for cafe, for a bakery, for a dessert. Cafe or probably promoting handmade desserts, right? And the picture right below it with this man with this with this with this mom with sunglasses, it can be used for an advertisement for sunglasses, or probably he is feeling too hot or he is just wearing sunglasses to protect his eyes from the harsh rays of the sun, right? It can be interpreted in many many different ways. But it's really important to choose authentic photos, which look believable, and graphics that actually tell a story. Right? So almost every movie poster or even a book cover that you must have seen, the graphics that are used in those photos in that medium all have a particular story to them. So how many times? With these kind of images, and you try to interpret it, what interpret about what the movie is about, or you know what the what type of genre is going to be. Is it worth going and watching that movie for? Right. So one of the crucial things that we all have to remember is that we cannot use images that are very generic or have. Way to or a way to literal in humans. So we 
they have to look at images that you know that are subtle and are related to your topic okay so even though it is when this movie first came out and you can see the trailer when i first saw this movie so like this movie also i first thought it's going to be a thriller film or probably it's about related to terrorism the way this guy is running he is like he's running from something and i never really guessed that it's based on a true story about an athlete who lives there right, so it only after watching this film and seeing movie posters we realize how what a powerful tool images can be so even in powerpoint presentation lastly in case if you want you can also play around with your images as well so like for example photoshop can actually help you to add certain filters to your images which fit within your topic and that's about it so i covered all the important points regarding images and how images play an important role when you are covering a certain topic or if you are choosing images for your project so keep all these points in your mind and in case you can also take down notes and then in the future you can you can use these pointers in mind and it will help you to choose your images a lot later in the future so thank you for watching and stay tuned for more